All right, so here we are back with another video on the channel. And recently I placed a poll asking you guys which topic you'd like me to cover in my next video. And most persons voted for the staircase in AutoCAD architecture. So that's what this video will be about today. However, I thought the other topics got some good numbers too. So I think we will try to cover those in future videos. So if it's your first time on the channel, thank you for joining. It's a pleasure to have you here. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, definitely hit the subscribe button. Drop a like if you learned something in this video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to create staircase in AutoCAD architecture. So fortunately, if you're using AutoCAD architecture, there is a stair tool that makes it easy for us to create stairs. And that tool is located right here underneath the home tab. It is also available in your tool palette. So if you go down to the design tools and go into tool palette, and then at the top here, you should see a design tab. Mine is now missing in action. I don't know where it went, but I hope to figure it out someday. But you should set design tab at the top here. And if you scroll through the list, you should see stairs in there as well. All right. This tool is actually a pretty flexible tool. We can create some uh, pretty customizable stairs from it. However, when it gets to more exotic stairs like these, you know, you're, you're going to have to do those manually. Um, of course, you could use a, a simple stairs from the stair tool to give you like a reference stairs to work with. It will tell you how many uh, steps you need and how wide your threads would be and so on and so forth. But when it comes down to getting those fancy shape and fancy design, you're going to have to do that manually. All right. Now, in this video, I will be creating stairs using this stair tool here, such as a straight flight, L-shaped, U-shaped and spiral. And also, I would like to show you guys, if time allows, how I would add a staircase inside of this two bedroom house. I do have both floors open up right here. So this is the first floor where I have this little space right in here where I would like to add a straight flight going up and over the powder room and going up into the second floor and landing somewhere into the passage here. Now, if you're wondering how I did this, where I have both floors open and then I have a 3D view, I have a, a, a series of videos showing you how to start a project from scratch using the project navigator and how to create constructs, how to create levels, how to create views. All of that is there. So check the description below for that if you're interested. So let's go over to our new drawing. And of course, you would have set up your units and everything and ready to go. So let's go ahead and click on the stairs tool. And right away, we can see that we are active and ready to draw. Now, before we start to draw, let's go over to our properties panel and make some changes. Um, these are the five things I would say you need to focus on when you're starting your stairs. And of course, when you draw a stair, you can always go back and tweak it if it didn't fit or if it didn't work the way you wanted it to. So that's nothing to worry about. But usually I would pay attention to these five things. The first thing would be the style. Okay. Now, this is what the style look like. And of course, nobody uses that. So I would recommend you tweak the style to make it your own. But AutoCAD actually comes with some style in there, which we can use. Um, so I would say go to your tool, go down to Style Browser, which I have it open up down here. And if you navigate to the stairs type here, you will see that we have quite a few different styles, different materials such as concrete, wood, steel, and we even have ramps. So this is something that uh, we have available to us. In Jamaica, we normally use the concrete stairs. So I'm going to import this one into my project right now. So all you got to do is right click import and know it is in my project. So if I click on the stairs tool once more, you will notice that we are now using that style, which again, I can 
switch it around if I needed to. The next thing we're going to look at is the shape. All right. And this is important. We are on the straight flight shape. And of course we have spiral multi landing U shaped and so on. I'm going to start with straight flight and then we go down to the width, which is also important because in Jamaica, I practice the minimum of three feet. Uh, if it's a very, very small house, then you might be allowed to get a tad bit smaller, but I generally stick with three feet minimum. That's good practice. If you're going to be doing commercial buildings, of course, you're going to have to make it much wider to accommodate high volume traffic. And then we go down to the height, which would be from level to level. So from level one to level two, if that distance is 10 feet, you need to enter that in here. This is quite, this is very important. Okay. And then the last thing we go down is to the thread or tread depth. 11 inches is a pretty good number to start with. So we're going to leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and click on our first point. And this is where the step would, the stairs would start from the level one and we're going up. And if you notice that number right there says 18 out of 18, that means we're creating 18 stairs out of a total of 18. So you would click your second point in the direction that you want. In this case, I'm going to turn my ortho mode on and I'm going to click at the top there. And right away, one is created and I can still go ahead and create another one if I wanted to. But I'm going to escape out of that command and this is what we are left with. So right away, we can see that a portion of the staircase is hidden. And this is how um, a staircase is normally represented on a floor plan. So AutoCAD is helping you out here. All right. Now, everything that is above the cutting plane of three feet, six inches here, this is the default cutting plane. You can always change it if you need to, but everything above this number is hidden and then everything below is showing. Let's take a look at this in 3D view. And so this is what it would look like as a concrete stairs. If you notice, it has the wooden material on the top of it as well. We can remove that um, in a little bit. I will do that. All right. So let's look at a couple of other things with this stairs. When you click on it, you will notice that it says here terminate with riser. We can actually change this to another option, which would be, let's say thread or tread. And if you notice at the top here, it adds an extra uh, tread and that's what it would terminate with. And then um, we can make a couple of other changes. Let's say I wanted to uh, remove that uh, wooden piece of material on top of it. I could just click on it and I would edit the style and I would go over to components. And this is where you can remove these two things here and you hit OK. Now those are gone. So you're now left with this, this pure concrete, uh, nothing on it. Um, we could also change the slope if we needed the slope or not. You can change it in the same settings. We can say remove the sloping riser. Um, um, do you want a nosing? Yes or no? You can remove the nosing as well. Hit OK. And now you get that traditional looking staircase. And this is what we are mostly familiar with. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. Some other tweaks that you can make is to edit the edge of your stairs. So if let's say you want to make this edge a little bit wider, if you click on this little edge edit button here, you will see that these turn into some arrows that you can just move around. So if I want the stairs to look like that, or if I wanted to widen this side of the stairs a little bit more, I could always do that. And then guess what? That's how it looks. I'm going to undo all of that. Another thing we could do is to create a shape. So let's create a shape. For instance, I want this portion of the stairs to have a, have a little bulge like that. I could click on the stairs and go to custom edge and say project and I want this edge of the stairs click on it to project to this line oh well it didn't work because this is not a polyline so I need to convert this into a polyline first and then I would redo that command so let me go ahead let's do that again project this edge to this polyline and hit enter and just like that, that edge of the stairs is now projected out to whatever shape you decide. All right. So that is a pretty neat effect if you wanted to. And you can always remove the custom edge if you want. Just remove it using the same tool. And so that is how you go about doing a straight flight 
a lot of those customization can be done to any of the shapes that you decide to use. All right, so let's go ahead and create another one using the uh, multi landing. And this comes into play if you needed to create a stairs with, let's say a landing somewhere in the middle. All right, and landings are used where you have a long staircase where you definitely need to provide some amount of resting point. So let's say we needed to fly a height of 15 feet you definitely need some landing somewhere there. If you notice the amount of steps have increased to 26, initially it was 18. So if, as we click anywhere, I'm gonna turn my author mode on and you start to move your cursor up, you'll notice that the number is counting how many steps out of 26. So let's say we reach number 10, we can stop that first flight right there and then we can go ahead and create a landing and this landing can turn a corner or it can continue straight on let's turn a corner and let's say i want this landing to be four feet in length i could just type four feet enter and then the next flight would begin right there and i can add an extra couple of steps going up let's say i add another five steps or something like that i don't know and i click again and i want another landing here um i could say all right go another four feet i'm gonna make this one straight ahead and then i'm gonna just finish off the rest out here so it looks something like this and of course we can't see anything above but if we rotate it like this we can see it and see what it looks like if it is that you need to see the things here going up we can always just raise the cutting plane to maybe let's raise it to 14 feet all right and it would show you everything all the way up to 14 feet and you can see what that looks like um we can click on the the stairs and we can move things around just like we were doing with that over there um you can move this up if you needed to um you can adjust the edges if you needed to you know just like we did with that one over there you can customize your edges to make it the way you want it all right and the same thing we could actually um turn this down as if it were a u-shaped stair um let's see if i could pull that off what i'll do is all right so yeah there i turned this into a u-shaped uh, stairs and the beautiful thing about the multi-landing tool is that um, if we want to say lengthen this side and shorten that side it's a matter of clicking on this arrow here and pulling it down and while i pull this down that side will get shorter and shorter and as i push it up it will get longer and longer so you can tweak the steps to get exactly what you need um, if we were to use the u-shaped because we do have a u-shaped option here it comes with the u-shape right out of the box so you wouldn't have to be going through all of that but this tool comes with limitations all right i'm, I'm going to show you that so once you make your first click all you have to do is to type in the distance between each uh flight and you would basically get the the desired staircase that you need all right but the the caveat with this one is that you don't get that luxury where you can pull one end and the other end gets shorter this is just a single landing u-shaped you cannot add a, a second landing to this or maybe you could i just don't know how to do it as yet um, but with the multi-landing you can add as many landing as you need per your design all right now let's go to the spiral because i know that's one that many persons are interested in so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to switch over to spiral and of course this is what it would look like just a typical round stairs you can add your radius in all right so this is an option that wasn't uh, given before now we can add a radius in now the radius is calculated from the middle of your cursor to that blue line all right so if you notice you're seeing a blue line there that's where it is being calculated too now if you want to change it to the outer circle or the inner circle all you got to do is to click on the justify and make the change here so i'm going to change it to inside and now that's what it looks like so now the calculation is saying the radius is three feet and i'm going to draw that step right here so i can basically rotate it to where i want it i'm going to place it right there and so that's what that would look like all right now what if we wanted to do one of those stairs where it, the spiral is wrapping around a pole or something like that it's quite simple you do the same thing let me do another one but this time you're going to make the inner circle or the inner radius very small maybe something like three inches and so it looks something like that and then you would click and place your rotation wherever you want it and then that's basically 
what it would look like going up and of course the concrete style is not the best style to use here i'm going to switch it back around to the standard and of course i would also tweak this a little bit so let me put it into conceptual um, as a matter of fact let's 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 bring in the steel uh style here import and i'm going to switch it over to steel all right so there that makes a little bit more sense don't it yeah however it would be really difficult to bend the steel like that i'm sure there's a guy out there who can do that let's say we don't want that i could edit this um style go to my uh, stringer because this is the the those edges would be the stringer i'm going to remove them on both sides and i'm going to leave it bare just like that and then I'm going to put a pole in the middle. That is something I'll have to do manually. So click on cylindrical and put in your height and width. I think this was 15 feet, if I'm not mistaken. And then I'm going to drop it right in the middle there. So something like, like that. And so once I rotate now, now I have a staircase with the middle there. All right. So that's how the spiral there would look just say like a steel stair and then guess what guys we can add a railing to these it's pretty pretty easy all you have to do is to click on the down arrow there and click on railing and all you have to do is to select the side on which you want the railing to be added so in this case i'm going to add a railing to the outer edge of this spiral stairs i'm going to click on the outer edge and just like that the railing is added to the stairs all right let's do the same thing again i don't know if i can do it in 3d but we can try yep there we go it's not adding there let's try this one i think it's best to do it in top view so let's try that one more time there you go inner outer all right so it's just like that let me see if i can add one on the inside of this which would be nuts i don't think you need one no you don't need one on the inside now if you notice we have uh this is the default um railing style that we're looking at here um but we can change it because autocad does come with some additional styles that we can try so let's say let's say let's try just a simple one maybe this one import and I'm going to switch this over. I'm going to actually select all of them and switch them over to that style and see how that looks. So, of course, that is how it would look. And of course, you can tweak these railings again, edit the style, go inside of it. This is something I might have to get into in more details. Um, but go ahead, edit the railing, you know, change the width of the guard rail or the, 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 uh, the distance between each and so on and so forth and make it the way you want it uh, that's all i have for today i'm gonna save this and then i am going to x that off and then we're gonna go over to this drawing where i'm gonna show you how i would add a straight flight stairs inside of this here all right okay everybody thank you for watching this video i know you want to see the next video so that will be linked right here this video was getting a little bit too long so i had to slice it in two and so the next part which is part two will be in the link below or right here but in the meantime thank you for watching i hope that you learned something hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and big up to all the patrons over on my patreon page